Hello, class. Hello, teacher. Welcome. How are you? Fine. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How Good are you? Teacher. I'm fine. Good. 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 I'm happy to to see all of you or the majority of you. Okay. How how was your day today? Mm, I was asleep all day. <gasps> you were asleep all day. Yes. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> really? Huh? What you why did you sleep all day? I work in tonight. Oh, okay. Okay, I understand. So yeah, so of course you're going to be um you're going to be sleeping during the day. Yeah, I understand. Yes. Okay. Can you can you sleep during the day? Is that is that a, is that okay for you? Or is there a problem? Repeat, please, teacher. Like, can you sleep during the day, or do you have problems sleeping during the day? No, I have to sleep today all day. So no, no tiene problemas dormir durante el día. Mm, no, cuando, cuando estoy cansado, no. Ah, okay, okay. Good, excellent. Okay. Uh, well, let me see. Let me say hi to Juan Francisco. How are you? Juan Francisco? Hi, hi how are you? I'm fine, Good. How was your day? How was your day? Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Similar, um, Marvin, Alfredo. <laughs> I sleep. You were sleeping too. I'll die. <laughs> Uh, yesterday, I had uh, night shift. Oh, okay. What time did you finish? Um, seven. Seven, seven in the morning. morning. Yes, today. Wow, that that is that is a lot. And you started at what time? The fifth week. What time did you start? Ah, uh, um, 6 p.m. From, from 6 p.m. to 7 in the morning? Yes. Wow, that is a long shift. Yes. Un, un, un turno bien largo. Yes. Wow. And, uh, but you only work four days or yes, how long? Yes, four days. Four days. Yes. So, trabaja cuatro días, descansa tres. Yes. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Eh, ¿Quiénes más trabajan aquí de noche? No. Solamente ellos dos. Oh, okay, okay, interesting. Um, all right, uh, welcome, Edgar. How are you? <clears throat> fine, fine, thanks, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, how are you? How, how are you today? Um, it is uh, very, very nice um, all day. Good. What did you do? Uh, I work um, um, and and meeting and meeting meeting with uh, with a uh, co 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 working. You had a meeting with your coworkers. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Lots of meetings then. Yeah. I see. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. And welcome, Alejandra. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm good. I'm good. How was your day today? It's a little bit. It's a little busy, but it's okay. It was busy? Yes. Okay. What where where do you work, uh, Alejandra? What do you do? Um, I am architect and my job is in the office, like um haciendo planos, estimaciones, cosas así. Oh, okay. So so you you design. Yes. That sounds interesting. That sounds very interesting. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, let me say hi to Fabiola. How are you, Fabiola? Hi. How how was your day today? Well, ah, uh, yeah. Heavy. Sorry? Was I heavy? It was heavy. Yeah. Really? Why? What happened? <clears throat> In my world is uh season, temporada alta. Oh, okay. It's um yeah, it's um the high season. Okay, I see. Okay, and what what do you work in? What what is your job? Okay, I work in this Salvadoran. I sell liquor. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in in esta temporada que ya estamos cerca de Las vacaciones, me imagino que... Es la temporada alta con la, de, con la de Navidad, son las temporadas más altas. Ajá. ¿Cuáles temporadas? En diciembre y Semana Santa. Uh -huh. Diciembre y Semana Santa. Sí. Wow. Es cuando la gente aprovecha, ¿verdad? Ay, qué bueno. Ay, no, qué cosas. Okay. okay. Bueno. Lo bueno, lo bueno es que hay trabajo, sí, ¿verdad? Es lo importante. importante. Hay trabajo. Okay. Um, okay, guys, let me um, let me just uh, get your attendance. Well, one moment. I'll take it out. Okay. Okay. Eh, chicos, ¿cómo vamos con los ejercicios en la plataforma? ¿Tienen preguntas, inquietudes? ¿Algo que no entienden? Uh, teacher. Um, uh, uh, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, cuando, yeah. cuando estuve trabajando la pregunta, sí, eh, me quedó una, una inquietud, pero al final de tanto hacer el ejercicio logré entender y es el hecho de que cuando el, en la oración el verbo está en pasado, tú tienes que poner el, utilizar el auxiliar y el verbo trasladarlo a su forma base. ¿Sí? Can you repeat? Le decía, ok, cuando, cuando trabajé el, eh, las oraciones en el homework, uh, la, la, el verbo 
estaba en, en pasado. Entonces tenía que utilizar el, el auxiliar, el, el dido o didel, y trasladar el verbo a su, a su forma base, ya no en pasado. Y así sí me, 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 me dio el, el ok, el, el, la respuesta de que lo estaba haciendo bien. Pero me costó esa parte hasta que logré hacerlo varias veces, entender que ahí era, ahí era donde estaba mi, mi error. Ajá, sí, hablamos ayer de que, de que el verbo no se toca, ¿verdad? Okay. Eh, cuando uh -huh. se hace la pregunta, no se toca el verbo, tiene que estar en la forma original. Y solo se pone el, 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 el que va a ser el pasado, es el verbo get. Sí, pero, pero por ejemplo, el auxiliar de. pero, pero el, el verbo en la oración, como lo presentaba, si sí estaba en, en pasado, no, no, no llevaba el, el, el be. Y si, y si el, el, ah, el verbo. Ah, sí, cuando, sí. Cuando, cuando ya usted responde, cuando uh -huh. se responde, porque como ya no es pregunta, entonces sí va a tener que hacerlo en el pasado. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O, sea, pues, o sea, sería como, uh -huh. did you work? Ya. Yeah. Yes. I worked this morning. Ok, yeah. Ya, yeah. ok, yeah. sí, ajá, ahí sí, porque ya entonces el, 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 ya no es un, una pregunta, sino que es una afirmativa. Es una afirmativa. Como lo que aprendimos el, el martes. Mm -hmm. Correcto. ¿Verdad? Sí, sí. Que ya, que entonces ya solamente haríamos la, la oración con el ED, ED, um, Solo la D o la doble consonante y ED. Sí, sí, esa, esa, sí. esa fue la, la, la parte complicadita, por, pero al final lo, lo logré entender después de hacer el ejercicio varias veces. Good, 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 good. excellent. Ok, ok. Bueno, uh, ¿alguna otra preguntita o duda, inquietud? Good que evening. Tenían en la plataforma? Good evening, Julio César. Hello. I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, really? I thought, I thought you said something. But I have a question, though. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I read your mind. <laughs> on the, on the um, what do you call it? On the um, homework for Friday, uh, there is no explanation on the platform of what to do. It's just the, um, the sentences there. And you have the yes, the space to write down. I don't know what, because it doesn't say what what to do. Which exercise? On um, Friday's homework. That'll Last Friday? No, for tomorrow. Oh, the one for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will check it out and then I'll tell you. All right, all right. Okay. Good. Thank you. All right, I'm, I'm going to take the attendance, guys, before it's too late. Okay, Andre Giovanni. Present teacher. Edgar Alfredo. Present teacher. Elsie Janet. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina. Present. Present teacher. Francisco Javier. Present. Irene Azucena. Irene Azucena, no. Ok. Um, Jennifer Magali. Yeah. Present. Right. Uh, Josué Alberto. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Julio César. Yes, I'm here. Uh, 
uh, Carla, Mar Carla Marta. Carla Marta, no. Carla Marta Cano, no. Ok. Eh, Carla Noemí. Ok. Uh, Manuel Alejandro. I'm here, teacher. Ok, good, excellent. Uh, Manuel de Jesús. Manuel de Jesús. Ok. Not here. All right. Uh, Mariela. Present. Great. Marvin. Present teacher. Wonderful. Warner. Warner Andrado. Okay. Eh, Soila. Present. Suleima. Present. Okay. Good. And Alejandra Maria. All right, okay, everybody. So I've taken attendance. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is I'm going to be sharing the PowerPoint here. Please let me know when you can see it. Can you all see it? Yes. Yes, oh. yes ma'am. All right, so today we're looking at, this is beginners four, unit three, customer service, topic, simple past information questions. So we're gonna be continue talking about information questions. Sorry, we're gonna be talking about questions, but now we're gonna be talking about information questions. And today is day number 14. It's Thursday, March 18th, 2021. Your facilitator is Jessica Velanda Verde. So yesterday I was explaining a little bit about uh, questions, how to create the questions. Okay. Um, so these are yes or no questions. Um, let me make this a little bit bigger. I think we can make this bigger, just give me a second. All right, so here we have um, the sentences with questions. Oh, better so these are the questions, examples. Did you call a mechanic to check your car? Did you pay extra money? Did we receive a report? Did they sign the letter? So if you remember, I mentioned that we all, we start, we start the question always with did. Okay. Did you call a mechanic to check her car? Did she pay extra money? Did we receive a report? Did they sign a letter? Okay, so all of them start with a did. We always start with a did. And if you notice, it's independent of the subject, okay? Independent of the subject. So in the subject, as you notice here, can be different forms. Mm 
un movimiento de ventana, se ve en el movimiento. En el momentito. No está tan cerrado toda esta ventana, se me están abriendo. Ok. Bueno, no voy a cerrar. Ok. Um, so, eh... Okay, so like you notice here, we have different subjects. Here we have you, me, we, and they. Those are different um, pronouns, huh? okay. And if you also notice, the we also the verb. The verb is going to be in the base form of the verb. So this doesn't change. Call, pay, receive, sign. Okay, so if you notice, all of these are going to be in the base form of the verb. Why? Because the auxiliary is in the past. So, ya pusimos eso en el pasado. Lo vamos a poner otra vez en el pasado porque una regla en inglés es que en inglés no puede haber un doble de algo. No podemos haber, por ejemplo, un doble negativo. Eh, y en este caso no puede haber un doble pasado. Okay, so it can't be, did you called? Or did he paid? Or did uh, we received? Or did he signed? No, just the base from the verb. And in short answers, in the short answers, you're going to answer with, yes, I did. Okay. Or in the negative, no, I didn't. Okay. So you're just going to answer with the auxiliary. You are not going to say, no, I didn't call. You don't normally say that. You would just say, I didn't, I did. Well, you normally would just say, um, no, I didn't, or no, yes, I did. But it's impossible to say, or not impossible, but it's not coming to say, yes, I did call. Okay, yes, I did call is not very common. Yes, she did pay, not very common. Yes, the, um, she, yeah, we did receive, or yes, they did sign. No, not really. We would just give the, the, the auxiliary, or we would say, yes, he signed. Yes, we received. Yes, they paid, or he, or she paid. Um, yes, you called. Okay, all right, so I asked you to do this for homework. So the first thing I'm gonna ask you guys to do is to share your, um, your answers, okay? And what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna get you to get to work in, um, in groups, five minutes to share your answers for these questions, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna get you to work in groups. So let's stop sharing and let's take it to a breakout room. Okay. Um, all right, go ahead and join your breakout room.
in number one. Did you send the email? Questions uh, to this? Uh, no, it's not. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Did they check the package? The package, yes. Uh -huh. La tercera, but we did get the card turn again. Marta, did you receive a copy of the receipt? Uh, number five, he buy the uh, new title. Okay. Okay. Entonces, la, la, la pregunta queda: Did they check the package? Yes. Mm -hmm. No, they didn't. They uh, didn't check the package. Okay. Uh, uh, quizás es error de dedo dos veces. Dice lo mismo. ¿A dónde? En la respuesta de la dos. No, they didn't. They didn't check the package. Ah, no, así es. Ajá, es que esa es como la respuesta como, larga. Ajá, la respuesta ajá. corta solo Question? sería no, they didn't. Ajá, ok. Ajá. You guys have any questions, guys? Mm. Uh, we no, are teacher. comparing the, the answers of the exercise. Good. Any questions? Any problems? No, teacher. Ya me explicó ella un tip que no había entendido. Ah, cuente, cuente. Ah, es que hay a veces... Eh, Yo tenía duda con el verbo en, en este, por ejemplo, en la número dos, porque dice check. Y en pregunta, ¿verdad? Entonces me dice ella que en pregunta el verbo siempre se va a poner en su forma base. Ahí es donde tenía duda yo. En la única donde vamos a jugar con eso es cuando son positivas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Correcto, lo que estaba explicando, le estaba explicando ahí anteriormente. A Miguel, ¿verdad? De que, ajá, de que, eh, de que no vamos a, en, en inglés no podemos usar un doble de algo, un doble uh -huh. negativo, un doble pregunta, o un uh -huh. doble, eh, ¿cómo se llama? O un doble. Eh, doble pasado. Doble pasado. Entonces, en este caso, el ver ya está en el pasado. Entonces, no podemos poner un doble. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok, so just, just keep it only did. So that's the only thing you have to change. Did. That's it. Yeah. Ok. Y todo exactamente igual. No, no cambia, independiente del subject. Ok. Ok. Okay, uh, number three. Uh, did the car turn on again? Mm, en esa. Y en ese no cambia. El, no tendría que cambiar el, el verbo. Sí, cambia. Porque solo pueden. If we were the nosala vez nosotros. We mm -hmm. never received a copy of the first step. Okay. Teacher. Hi. Hi. Um, I have a question. Uh -huh. In a eating eaten eaten three, in that eaten number three, the answer the car turned it on again. Okay, in the answer, in the in the large answer or long answer. Is that correct in the verb in, 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 in past tense? Is correct for the verb in past tense or in base form? The verb, the verb is turn on. Yeah. No, but, uh, not put it, because remember, did- No, no, it, the answer, the answer. Oh. I don't understand. Okay, the, the answer with the uh, with the answer in, in with large answer. 
the verb is not in, in his uh, base form. He's put it in, in base. Yes. Like this, the car turned it on again. But this is not the base form. Turned is a simple yeah. class. Yeah, yeah, that is correct. Okay, so, uh -huh. but but is the the answer? Um, it's a long answer. Oh, because yeah. in the long answer, yes. In the long answer, you put the simple past. In the short answer, only of the auxiliary. Yeah, it's this. Okay. So in short answer, okay. just did. So lo, so lo just auxiliary. Did, 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 or negative, didn't. Just uh -huh. But in the long answer, yes, you're going to put the the the, the past. Simple past. Uh, the, the simple past of the verb because it's an affirmative sentence. Yeah, that's it's the same for uh, for um, irregular verbs. Una una, una una the car, so the the car turned on again. It's an affirmation. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's for a short. No, no, por eso. Pero es como una afirmación o es parte de la respuesta corta o es una respuesta larga. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Pero la respuesta larga es la misma. Es una misma. Puede ser afirmación o negación. Ok, pero en la respuesta siempre va el verbo en pasado. En la respuesta larga. Yes, mm -hmm. correct. Ok. Yeah. That's correct. Ok, are we ready? Can we check the answers? Yeah, one more. Or do you need one more minute? Um, uh, one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, one more minute? Or not? No, no, no. No, you sure? No, no. I don't know, man. Okay. Uh, what about the rest of you? What do you say? One more minute or no? Yes, please. You need one more minute. Okay. I'll give you guys one more minute then. Saved. Copy or receive. Receive. Okay. Did we receive the number? No, we didn't. We never received to a copy of the receipt. Number five is did he buy a new tire? He buy. He buy a new tire. Tire. Did he buy a new tire? Yeah. Yes, yes, he, he did. did. He bought a new car. That's okay. We finished. Yep. Done. Thank you. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the main room. Okay, thanks. Okay, all right guys. Um, so I think we have everybody back now. So let's check the answers. Let's see what you guys have and see what, if you agree with your answers. Um, so let me share. Okay, so um, let's see. I would like you guys to share your answers. 
Um, we'll start with Josue Alberto. Could you help me? Yeah. Uh, did you send an email? Did you, I'm sorry. Did you send, send, send or send? Send. send. send Based form and the verb. All right. So Josue Alberto says, did you send the email? Do you agree? Mm -hmm. That's the answer? Yes or no? Yes, that's yes, the answer. Teacher. Very good. I agree too. Excellent. Very good. Well, teacher. Yeah. And I apologize. Just try, I call in to connect to the platform and the extra uh, extra class meeting because I had to take uh, exam for the university. Uh, evaluations. Oh, you mean today? Uh, sorry, you mean yesterday? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, that's okay. Um, are you needing to, to reschedule? Do you need Maybe. to reschedule? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, we'll see where we can fit you then. Vamos a ver. Okay. Okay, thanks teacher. Oh, you're welcome. All right, um, Yvonne, help me with number two. Okay. Did they check the package? Check or checked? Check, baseboard. Okay, good. Very. All right, do you agree? Do you agree with Yvonne? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good, I agree with Yvonne yes. too. Excellent. All right, let's have, let's see who else is here with us. Let's have Marvin and Phil. Can you help us with number three, Marvin? Uh, did your car tur turn up? Did your car turn on? Turn on. Okay. Did your car, did you say turn or turned on? Turn on. Good, turn on. Okay, excellent. Do you agree? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay, um, I agree too. In fact, I you can even, uh, can, um, you can also write again. So you can, did your car turn on again? Okay, so that's possible. All right, teacher, number four. No, possible. On uh, noise possible, did your car turn again? No. Turn on. No, it has to be turn on because turn is girar, but turn on is encender. Okay, teacher. Okay, Thank you. so you have to say on porque si no el verbo cambia. Okay. All right. Um, um, that's a good in question. This, really. In number three, we can use did the car turn on again? Did the car turn on again? Yeah, that's fine. The car, your car, both are okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. very good. Okay. Uh, Mariela, help me with number four. Is, um, did we receive a copy of the receipt? Receipt? Receipt, okay. Did we receive? Receive or received? Received. Received, like this? Yes. Did we receive a copy of the receipt? Okay, do you agree? Yes, no, teacher. teacher. No. No? no. Why? Because Tell me. the very, the very, Yes. The very same fast. Yeah. Okay, so what what do you change then? What would you change? Yeah, it's, it's, it's negative question. You want to change it to the negative? The verb could be in the base form. Which verb? Receive. Okay, very good. 
Exactly. So we like, put it like this. Did we receive a copy of the receipt? Okay. So no D, not received, but received. Acuérdense lo que les, les uh, mencioné uh, hace poco. Nunca podemos tener un doble de algo. Entonces no podemos tener un doble negativo, una doble pregunta. En este caso no podemos tener un doble, eh, un doble pasado. Porque did ya está en el pasado y entonces no podemos poner received también en el pasado. ¿Ok? Ok. All right, let's go on to the next one. Number five. Teacher, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, tampoco puede darse una doble negación. No, no hacemos una doble negación. Mm -mm, tampoco. Okay. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, sí. Le voy, le, se les voy a decir de antemano. Sí, es posible hacer una doble, doble negación. afirmación. Afirmación. Pero ese ya es otro, otro tema y no me quiero meter en eso. <ríe> Entonces, ah, okay. porque si no los voy a confundir. <ríe> sí. okay. mejor, mejor así, dejémoslo. Pero solo por, por, por el propósito de la clase, piensen que ahorita no hay un doble de algo. ¿Ok? Para que no se me confundan. Ok. Um, all right. Warner, help me with number five, please. Number five, teacher. Uh, did he buy a new tires? Okay, good. Be just careful. Uh, the pronunciation is tire. 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 Mm -hmm. Did he buy a new tire? A new tire. tire. Yeah. Did he buy a new tire? Okay. Do you agree? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. All right, well, there you go. Those are your answers. I'm going to stop sharing for a moment and I want to ask you guys, how do you feel with these exercises? How do you feel with the questions? Do you understand them? Easy, difficult? Confusing. Not too easy, not too difficult. Okay. Está claro como el agua o claro como la horchata? Claro como el agua. Claro como el agua. Claro, ¿como qué dice, José? No, es clear. <laughs> ok. Vaya. Eh, a mixture, oh, derecho. ¿Ah? A mixture. A mixture. Uh, oh, <laughs> quiero ver, o oh, oh, claro, como, no, no. como la... ¿Cómo es se bien. llama? Claro, como la Coca-Cola. Ah, como la Coca-Cola. <laughs> o como la leche, pues. <laughs> ¿No? ¿Estamos o preguntas ahorita? Okay, all right. When, eh, I have a, one more question. Levanten la manita que, quienes hicieron los ejercicios que les mandé en el grupo. Así, siendo sinceros, o sea, si, si no lo hicieron, no pasa nada. Pero Yo solo hice no, uno, teacher. Only two. Only one. Only one, me too. Okay, it's okay. But, but lo intentaron, por lo menos. Eh, hoy en la noche lo voy a hacer. Okay. Bye. Tenemos en como, cinco, como cinco o seis personas. Creo que dijeron. Okay. Bye. Entonces, ajá, como, cinco, como seis o siete más o menos. Le han levantado la mano. Ok, vaya. Eh, claro que esos ejercicios no, no, no son para una evaluación con una ponderación así son notas. 
pero sí al final les va a ayudar. ¿Verdad? Porque eh, va, con los que sí ya lo hicieron, pueden bajar la mano. Los que ya lo hicieron, ¿cómo lo sintieron? ¿Qué les pareció? ¿Les ayudó o no les ayudó? The exercise, the, um, the exam or the or exercise uh, are, um, no sé si, si difícil o, o fácil, yo creería que, que medio, no, pero bastante bueno realmente. Y uh, por lo menos te da una posición de, de lo que sabes y de lo que no. Ok. Um, saqué un poquito más del promedio arriba, pero, pero me queda con, con aquellito, ¿no? De, de la espinita de, de no completo. Sí, hay, hay lugar para, para, para mejorar. Ya. Yeah. Hello. Okay. <risa> ok, no, bueno, siempre hay, siempre hay lugar para mejorar, ¿verdad? No importa lo cuán bueno sea uno, siempre hay manera de mejorar, ¿verdad? así es que eso no es problema. Ok, eh, what about the others? Uh, uh, in my case, uh, I think the exercise was uh, difficult or, or too long. Uh, but difficult because I have to work in my cell phone and mm -hmm. the space was so little and it's it, it, I prefer the, the exercise uh, that we have to choose an answer and not write an answer because in, in the cell phone I think it's very difficult for me because I, I can work in a, in a computer but it's a measure, I think. Uh, you can measure uh, your knowledge uh, about the topic. And uh, it's okay, but I think there are many exercises for a day. Yeah, the, this, the exercises that I sent you were not meant to, for you to do it today. No, I just, it's for you to work on them right for you to work and improve that's the idea right okay um but it, did you okay so if you had been working on a computer Yvonne do you think it would have been a better better for you I can hear you teacher I said that if you had been working on a computer, would you have, would it have been better for you? Yes, I, I think in the computer is better, but in my case, I I don't have a computer to, to work in my house. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Uh, what about at work? Do you have a computer at work? Uh, yes, but work is very busy. I, I don't work only in my computer. I have to go to the production floor. I have to uh, give support to other departments. And it's, it's very complicated uh, work uh, or, or do the exercise in my work. Okay, okay. All right, that's fair enough then. Okay, what about the other people? Tell me about what you think, your experience. What did you think about the exercises? Thank you. Uh, it's very important to practice that kind of exercise because uh, when you are writing, I think it's easy to memorize. Mm -hmm. 
but uh, I have some mistakes. Maybe later you can resolve the exercise. Sure. Yeah, no problem. Um, like I told you before, what you can do is send me your, um, like you can take a picture, uh, like a, a, what's it called? A, a screenshot of your answers and then you can send it to me and I will see it and I can help you with the exercises that you had problems with. Okay, yeah. And I, I agree, Andres, um, that it's important to practice as much as possible and do exercises. Um, el otro día estábamos hablando ahí con, eh, con quien fue? Con Carla fue, con Carla. And that we were, we we're talking about doing exercises outside of class, right? We're doing, we're talking about exposing ourselves to the language, right? Eh, yo le decía a, a, a Carla, eh, para aprender un idioma, sinceramente tenemos que exponernos al idioma mucho más que unas dos horitas al día. Porque eh, póngase a pensar en el hecho de que, eh, por ejemplo, para poder empezar a hablar, un bebé que empieza a hablar, ¿cuánto tiempo se expone el idioma primero antes que empiece a hablar? ¿Verdad? Sí, son horas y horas y horas y horas y horas de solo escuchar, exponerse a tanto a oír a su madre, su padre, sus hermanos, eh, todo a su alrededor, lo, la, la televisión, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Y después empieza poco a poco a producir el idioma. Pues lo mismo pasa eh, cuando nosotros aprendemos un idioma. Tenemos que exponerlo lo más que podamos. Ahora usted va a decir, pero es que yo no tengo tiempo. Yo, yo estoy trabajando, eh, ¿verdad? Yo tengo mi familia. Um, yo apenas, pues, ni, ni siquiera me puedo bañar bien. Pues, qué sé yo, ¿verdad? Porque tengo tan poco tiempo. Entonces, y tienes razón. Vivimos ahorita en un mundo todo agitado, ¿verdad? Y, bueno, quizás ahora con la pandemia quizás ha, ha disminuido un poco el ritmo. O en otros casos puede ser que se ha acelerado, no lo sé. Pero aún así vivimos muy ocupados. Entonces, ¿cómo podemos exponernos al idioma más sin tener que, eh, de que estar cansándonos demasiado porque no, por el poco tiempo que tenemos? Bueno, eso significa que vamos a tener que ser creativos y um, muy, uh, o sea, utilizar todos los recursos que nosotros tengamos disponibles. Por ejemplo, Vamos al, 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 al camino del trabajo, ya sea que usted maneje o va en el bus. Y normalmente no vamos haciendo nada más, ¿verdad? O sea, puede ser que incluso si usted maneja, va solito en su carro, ¿verdad? Eh, posiblemente no, va, no lleva a otro pasajero, solamente usted solito va. O cuando va en el bus, pues va sentado, usted no va manejando, no tiene que preocuparse. Entonces siempre hay manera de poder utilizar ese tiempo. ¿Cómo lo podemos hacer? Por ejemplo, póngase a escuchar música en inglés, pero literalmente escucharla, no solamente oírla. Oír una cosa, escuchar es otra. Entonces, póngase a oírla. ¿Qué dice? ¿De qué está hablando? Y después, cuando quizás llega al trabajo o a la casa, se pone a, a leer la, la letra y ver, ah, es cierto, así era. Eh, sí. Lo, pensé que hablaba de esto, pero realmente hablaba del otro, etcétera, etcétera. Uh, ¿verdad? O, o simplemente eh, cuando ponga la tele, ¿por qué no se pone a, a ver algo con, en inglés? ¿Verdad? Eh, y cuando digo, o sea, algo en inglés podría ser, por ejemplo, incluso puede ser que um, usted lo, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Um, usted tal vez esté cocinando eh, no haciendo otra cosa pero solo tener puesta la, 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 la tele y estar escuchando su oído se va afinando al idioma entonces son cositas muy leves pero sí es importante que lo hagamos y lo traigo de colación por, por lo que ya se mencionó de que sí es importante que lo hagamos ejercicios como este ¿verdad? porque eso nos dan uh, chance de poder hacer más actividades y exponernos el idioma afuera de la clase, 
¿verdad? Entonces, cositas pequeñas que usted puede hacer y, y tal vez ustedes tengan otras ideas buenas de cómo poder exponerse también al idioma sin tener que estar eh, utilizando tanto tiempo, ¿verdad? Simplemente el tiempo que ya tiene, ¿cómo lo puede usar mejor? ¿Verdad? No sé si qué opinan de eso o alguien tiene algún comentario o sugerencia que, que pueda ser útil para otros. Oh, ah, Grecia, bueno, de hecho, le, yo una de las formas que utilizo para, para exponerme un poco más al idioma por cuando tengo tiempo es eh, de igual forma, ¿no? cuando voy manejando eh, o escuchando música en inglés o escuchando algo otra cosa, pero que ya más o menos entiendo en español qué es y, y, y en inglés eh, voy más o menos adaptando. ¿no? Eh, a otra vez es viendo películas con subtítulos, ok, pero en inglés y toda la cuestión. Eh, y, y cuando queda chance, pues estudiar de otra forma. Excelente, excelente, muy buena idea. ¿Otra cosa más? ¿Alguien más quiere agregar? Uh, sí, teacher, por ahí hablamos con uno de los compañeros y una idea que, que sale ahí es por ejemplo las cosas que nos rodean en, en nuestro entorno a ponerlas en, en inglés verdad si no sé cómo se dice cierto objeto lo pones en inglés y ya tú lo ves ah ya estás pensando en eh, rotularlo es, rotularlo esa es la palabra rotular y eso pues al final te, te, te ayuda absolutamente eh, sí y, y, y yendo, eh, eh, siguiendo esa, esa línea de pensamiento, uh, yo voy a, voy a compartir algo que a mí en lo personal me ayuda bastante. Yo estoy aprendiendo otro idioma y algo que me, me ayuda bastante es las palabras nuevas que voy aprendiendo, lo pongo en un lugar muy visible. A un lugar donde se puede ver en cualquier lugar de la casa y eso es como un recordatorio para mí, tanto de la palabra como el hecho de que estoy aprendiendo un idioma y me tengo que exponer a ello. Entonces yo, de hecho, lo he puesto en mi refri. Ok, yo pongo, eh, pongo lo que hago es de que um, corto. Um, bueno, le voy a enseñar, de hecho, un, estos son mis, 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 se lo voy a decir para que vean que no les estoy mintiendo. Esto okay. es lo que yo hago. Se lo voy a enseñar un poquito. Quiero ver. Ahí está. Entonces pongo la palabra en el idioma y la palabra en inglés. ¿Sí? Para que vean que no, no, no les estoy mintiendo. Entonces vengo yo y, y los pongo en mi refri. Y de hecho los pongo a veces en categorías. Para que sea más fácil recordar. Por ejemplo, hay cosas que son eh, cuestiones de opuestas. Los pongo juntos para que recordar, ah, por ejemplo, por ese lado, blanco, negro, ¿verdad? Entonces, cosas que son opuestas o cosas que son muy similares, ¿verdad? Que van juntos, por ejemplo, si estoy viendo, qué sé yo, comida, puedo, puedo poner toda la comida que tiene que ver con una, qué sé yo, con la hamburguesa, cosas que van en una hamburguesa, por ejemplo, los pongo todo junto para acordarme y es como una cosa visual. Entonces, eso es algo que, que tal vez les pueda ayudar. ¿Verdad? No sé. Una, una idea. Ok. Um, all right. Anyways, um, let's continue. Let's go on to the next part. But before we go on to the next part, I need to take attendance again. Ok. Ya llegó la hora otra vez de tomar la, la attendance. En el momento, mientras saco la lista. Okay. All right. Um, Alejandra Maria? No, ¿verdad? Here, teacher. Here. Ah, okay. Perfecto. 
um, Andres Giovanni. Um, Edgar Alfredo. Present teacher. Uh, Elsie Janet. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Fabiola Georgina. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Francisco Javier. Present. Okay. Good. Um, Irene Susana. Present. Okay. Eh, y Jennifer Magali. Present. <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, Josué Alberto. Present, sure. Okay, good. Um, Juan Francisco. Okay. Good. Um, Juan César, sorry, Julio César. Present, teacher. Okay. Él estaba cambiando el nombre. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Um, eh, Carla Cano. Present teacher. All right, good. Carla Maria. Carla Maria, no way. Um, Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Okay. Manuel de Jesús. Manuel de Jesús, no, ¿verdad? Ok, va. Eh, Mariela. Present. Ok, good. Eh, Marvin. Wilfredo. Present teacher. Good. Um, Warner. Present teacher. Great. Eh, Noemi. Noemi. Ok, good. Let's go. Okay, and um, Suleima Yvonne. Present. Okay. okay. Ooh, casi tenemos full house. Solo dos, dos que nos falta. Okay, very good. All right, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to be learning. We're going to continue talking about questions, but this time we're going to um, talk a little bit about not yes or no questions because if you oops get us up there with these questions uh you just the answer is just yes uh, for example did she call a mechanic to check her did you call a mechanic to check your car yeah, and the answer is yes i did or no i didn't right no hay, no hay de otra forma verdad es so um now i have a question for you have you ever had to solve problem that a client had? ¿Alguna vez le tocó solventar un problema de un cliente? ¿No? ¿Carla? Oh, no, Carla is not with us right now. Ok, vamos a ver. Quién, eh, quiero ver, quiero ver. ¿Quién más? Eh, vaya, Mariela. Have you ever had yes. to solve a problem? A client's problem? Yeah. No, teacher. No, Mariela, you, ha you haven't, okay. But Francisco, you have? Bueno, um, a mí me ha tocado ser soporte de modo que prácticamente he resuelto o he resuelto los problemas de, de clientes, de, 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 de empleados, soporte técnico. Sí. Okay, so IT. You've had to go, you've had to solve IT problems. Yeah? Do you know IT? Yeah, IT problems. Mm -hmm. You have to solve IT problems. 
Okay. All right. Well, we're going to be looking at a problem that a customer has. And they have written an email of this, of this problem. So I'm going to ask, let's see, I'm going to ask Azucena. Irene Azucena, could you read, could you read this email for me? Okay. To Peter email, Peter Kuhn, subject complaint about a trip from Heister PDUR gmail.com. Not Gmail. Gmail PD. No, not Gmail. Last. What is it? It's not Gmail. Okay, J Gmail is from here. Gmail. Gmail. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Last week. Uh, okay, stop, stop for a moment. Stop for a moment. Uh, Do you understand complaint? Excuse me? Uh, th this is for the whole class. Everybody, do you understand complaint? Complaint. Una queja. Una queja. Very good. Okay. And do you understand trip? Paseo. Yeah. Paseo. Good. Okay. So it's it's a complaint about a trip. Okay. Good. Continue, Irene. Continue reading. Okay. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I'm considering not traveling with you again because of the inconveniences I have of the inconvenience I have. Very good, Irene Susana, very good. Very good pronunciation, excellent. Okay, all right, so what was the problem? What was the problem? The problem is that the, because it doesn't have the air conditioner and it works. Okay, the, the problem, bus. yes, very good. The bus, uh, the bus was very slow. Okay, so first of all, uh, the bus, so the bus didn't have AC. Okay, what was another problem? And the bus was very slow indeed. Yeah. Good, the bus was very slow. Long trip. Long trip. Okay, very good. All right, so these are the problems. Okay, so let's answer these questions over here. Where did the bus go? To another country. Very good. Let me circle. Okay, so we have to another country, right? All right. Why did the passenger consider it a bad experience? Well, I think we already answered that, right? Its bad experience was the bus didn't have AC. We had a long trip, and the bus was very slow. Mm -hmm. Right? Because because the bus that you I didn't have air conditioning. Conditionation. What is the pronunciation? Air conditioner. Or, or just simply say AC. In English, we say AC. I'll say must, but it must pass in my practical. So I say AC. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there was no AC. Uh huh. Good. Yeah. Can you imagine traveling for a long time in a bus with no AC? ¿Alguien ha hecho eso alguna vez? ¿Se ha ido en algún bus? Que sea yes. mucho, yes. muy largo el viaje. Yes, teacher. Yes. yes, teacher. Where did you go? Uh, Guatemala. Oh, okay. In, with no AC? No. And once 
time uh, to Mexico. With no AC? No AC. <gasps> My goodness. That's horrible. <laughs> yes. How did you survive? You, you are, I don't know. You are a hero. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I, wouldn't, I would definitely not have been able to survive that. That's horrible. Wow. Okay. Um, okay. It, yeah. So there's, so this is a, a very important thing, right? Very bad experience because, you know, in a long trip, you need, look, even a short trip, it's nice to have AC, especially if you are paying, when you're paying a very nice amount of money, right? Um, now, what was the reason the passenger sent the email? What reason? I bet it's parents. Okay, yeah, because exactly. So he wanted the, 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 the person wanted the company to know that they had had a bad experience. right? Because of the bad experience. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, if you notice here, we have many questions. Uh, so we have questions that start with Where, why, and what? These are what we call information. Well, these are information questions. And the where, why, and what are what we call question words. Okay, these are called question words. Now, what is a question word? Well, question word, there are, there are actually, um, if I'm not mistaken, there are seven question words. So I'm going to write them all here so that you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so the first question word that we use is, or the very, very, very the most common one probably is, what okay do you know do you know another one what's another one when when when, when. Mm -hmm. another one where where good who wait who very good who okay what else what else which which very good and why why very good and when there's one more how you can also use the word how okay got it okay so um let's talk about what let's talk about what what is the reason why we use the word what? The reason is when we are describing, when we are describing a thing, or we're giving information about a thing. Okay, what is for a thing? How do you say what in Spanish? Okay. 
Okay. Very good. Okay. So when you say, for example, eh, ¿Qué quieres? Is what do you want? Right? Okay. So it means, ¿Qué quieres? O sea, en otras palabras, ¿Qué cosa quieres? And cosa is a thing. Okay. All right. Um, when? When do we use when? Lugar. Oh, cuando. Uh -huh. So we use when for time. Okay, for the time, for tiempo. Okay. Where? When do we use where? Donde. Mm -hmm. So what is, so where is used for what? For what kind of information? No, a place. 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 Very good. Un lugar. Right, a place. Good. And who? Ken. Yeah. So who is for what? Uh, who is he? Mm -hmm. A person. person. For a person. a person. Very good. This is for a person. When we are asking about a person. Okay. All right. Now let's talk about which. When do you use which? One. Hmm? Okay, exactly. Cual, which is used for a for yes. a thing as well. But what is the difference between this one and this one? Sorry, but what is the difference between this one and this one? Si los dos son para thing, thing and thing, what's the difference? The difference is that which is used for a thing. A thing that is part of an app, uh, an option. Teacher. Uh huh. You are writing. Perdón. Está tecleando, eh, mostrando en pantalla. Sí. No. Lo miran ustedes. No. No. No teacher. No. No, no teacher. No lo miran. Así yo. Estamos con el email. ¿Ah? Estamos con el email a un customer email. Estamos en la diapo. Híjole. No la vemos. No vemos que está escribiendo. O sea, no, no ven lo, lo que, o sea, no ven lo que yo estoy. Uh, anotando, nothing in... Nada, nada, nada. Nothing. Nothing, teacher. Oh, wow. Ok, quiero ver. ¿Qué hay de ahorita? Yes. Error. Ok, ¿hoy sí ven lo que estoy escribiendo? Yes, yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, all right. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Hoy sí estamos todos en sintonía. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Hey, gracias ahí por decirme, porque si no hubiera seguido ahí pensando que ustedes sí lo miraban todo. Y ustedes ahí todos perdidos. Okay, um, so thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Um, un momento. Okay. All right. Hey, cuando cuando ven así que que que, que pareciera como que me estoy explicando algo y no y no lo miran, a mí me avisan para que podamos ver qué pasa. Porque era la mía. ¿Ah? Yo creí que era mío. Ah, problema. también pasa eso, que uno dice, quizás se, se, soy yo el problema, ¿verdad? Así ah. ah, sí pasa. Ok, anyways, um, why? Why is for? For uh, no. question. It's for a reason, for a reason and razón. Ok, so why is like in Spanish you say, por qué? And the answer is always going to be because. So, ¿por qué? 
¿Por qué? La palabra es like because. ¿Por qué? Es because. Okay. So I'm, I'm actually going to, uh, se lo voy a poner un, un momentito. And how? Oh, bueno, saben que antes, ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Bueno, no sé si me, antes que pasemos al how, I want to, ch I want to explain this. Think, think part of an option. Porque esta parte no, como no sabía que no, no había, no me miraban. Nos pasamos a ese tema. Okay, so things part of an option. What that means is that this is different from this because here we can choose. Okay, we have an option. Okay, uh, for example, um, multiple choice. You have like a multiple choice, exactly. I'll give you an example. I have three pens, okay? I have three pens here. I don't know if you can see them all. I have three pens, blue, orange, and black. Which pen do you want to use? Which pen do you like? Which pen, the blue one, the orange, or the black one? So you choose, you choose which pen. Okay, so you say which. Okay, that, that's what it's for uh, it's for a thing, but it's an option. Okay. Do we understand? Yeah. Sure. In español sería como que tenemos el número de opciones. Tenemos un número de, de opciones para que tome. Yeah, exactly. Just like in Spanish, you say cuál. Right? So, ¿cuál prefieres? Dice, ¿cuál prefieres? Porque hay opciones. Ok. Yeah? Ok. Um, ¿cuál, o, o, ¿Cuál vas a escoger? Porque hay opciones. Right? Ok. Te, lo llevo a una, a, a una, ¿cómo se llama? Una nevería. Y digo, ¿cuál, uh, ¿cuál sabor le gusta más? Okay, hay opciones. Okay. Okay, and finally, how? When do we use how? Como. Mm -hmm. Yes, and and this is for the manner. The manner, la manera. Okay. So, for example, how eh, how do you how do you um, how do you travel to Europe? Como como se como se como se viaja a Europa by plane, right? En avión o en bote, right? No puede no se puede caminar, right? So how do you how do you travel? Como Cómo, de qué manera se llega a Europa. Que hizo? By plane or by, by boat. Okay? All right. So is this clear? Do we yes, have questions? Yep. Yep. Questions? Question for me. Uh, teacher, eso es igual como que yo quisiera decir, what do you study? Es similar. Uh, what do you study? O como forma de pregunta. El que, ¿qué es lo mismo? ¿A qué se refiere? No entendía a qué se refiere. Que cuando dice es lo mismo. El, el que es lo mismo. Uh-huh. Escucha? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Tal vez el compañero se tuvo problemitas ahí con el micrófono. 
on the internet. Just tan común, ¿verdad? Okay, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now show you some sentences, okay? So you understand this? It's clear? Clear for everybody? But so all of these are information questions. Con estas clases de preguntas no puede responder sí o no, right? For example, where did the passenger go? Yes. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. No, no se puede. No se puede responder yes or no. You have to ask more and more questions. That's why we call them information questions. Okay, simple past information questions, right? Okay, so um, let me erase so I can go to the next. Yeah. Ya copiaron, ¿verdad? Porque voy a empezar a borrar. Ya voy a borrar acá. Okay. Uh, teacher? Yeah? I have to get up for a minute. I will be right back. Okay, no problem. Thanks for letting Thank us you. know. All right, so let's go on to the next part. Let me explain here what we need by simple past information questions. So these are simple past information questions. Now, in, this, in these sentences that we have here, uh, we will note, you will notice that we have the verb to, the, sorry, the, the, the question word. And we start with a question word. And I'm gonna start with the verb to be, just because I think it's easier if we start with the verb to be. Okay? So if you notice, we start with the verb to be like this. Oh, what was, well, we start the question like this, but I said, we use, for example, where, how, why, what, Okay, so we have what? Where? And how? Okay, so do you see? They all start with, with question words. Where, how, why, what, what, where, how? Okay? Sure, sure. Uh-huh. Uh, what the pronunciation was uh, between where and where? Oh, that's a very good question. Very good, very good question. Um, okay, so what he's asking is what's the difference between this word where? and where? this word here? Yeah. And the difference where? is the sound of the vowel, okay? Uh, so this is where, eh, 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 right? Where, eh, eh. And this is were, er, er. So where, where, were, er, er, were. 
Do you hear the difference? Como palabra, war. Uh, no, because I went into war. war. And this one is were, were. Were, er, er, were. Were. Mm -hmm. And the other one is war. Okay, so this one is where eh, eh. open up your mouth where where and this is were were where were exactly were. perfect perfect where were where were where were for example where were you donde estabas where were you where were you where were you? And if you want, you can practice saying that. Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Right? And if you keep on saying that, you will start understanding the difference between the where and the were. Okay, so let's continue here. With the verb to be after the where, we use always, sorry, after the question word, sorry, after the question word, we use the, the form of where. In this one, we have no question word because it's a yes or no question. Were they delicious? Estaban deliciosos? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. So this is yes or no questions. Estas preguntas se responden con un sí o no. Pero estas no. No puede decir, where, uh, where was she today? ¿A dónde estaba ella? Sí. No se puede responder así. No. Right? We can't answer that. Okay? Now, after, so if you notice all of them, after the question word, we have the were. Okay, estamos? Sounds good? Estamos chicos o no? Yes, teacher. Yeah? So this is with the verb to be. It's only with the verb to be. So where was, where, you could say, where were you? How was, how were? Why were, why was? What were, where, um, why was? Uh, what were, what was? Where were, where was, how was, how were. Where, where was. Okay. Preguntas hasta el momento? No? Okay. All right, let's move on to the next verb. So that's with the verb to be. Now, with all the other verbs, con todos los demás verbos, again, the, acuérdense que, acuérdense lo que les he dicho anteriormente. El verbo to be es un verbo de excepción. Todo, todo es excepción. Es una excepción con ese verbo. ¿Okay? No sigue las reglas. Ese es, ese es, um, por supuesto, ese es um, sí, diferente a los demás. Okay, so I'm almost done here. Now notice that how, with well, the word how, it can be going with other words like how long, how often, how much. So el how, el how se puede combinar con diferentes cosas, ¿verdad? How long, es cuan, cuan, um, cuánto tiempo, how often, cuán a menudo, o cuán frecuentemente. How much? Cuánto? Okay. All right. So the how, be careful with that. The how can be used in different forms. Okay. Then after that, ¿qué, qué, qué noten? ¿Qué sigue? Auxiliar. Uh -huh. 
Ah, and what is the auxiliary? Did. Exactly. The auxiliary is did. Oops. Right. One moment, guys. Put that on over there. Put it on over there. Put it on over Okay, now I see. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, after that, we use the word did. Okay. Uh, for example, how long did you study English? Okay, how often did he smoke cigarettes? Where did your mother live when she was a girl? What did you do that? Who did he bring to the dance yesterday? How much did, oh sorry, how did the girl have, what did the girl have in her? in her bag. And finally, how much meat did your dog eat? Okay, so all of that, we always are going to put did after the question word, okay? And the simple past affirmative question. And after that, we, we continue with the base form of the verb. Okay, so how often did you study English? So, como ya lo sé, notaron anteriormente, aquí no se le cambia nada. Okay. Aquí no se le cambia nada, tiene que ser en, en el base form, la parte regular, sin ningún cambio. Okay. Okay, there you go. Okay, so there you go. These are the, the way that you would be making simple past information questions. Sorry, questions, no. That is some questions. Okay, so, ven que esto es igual que lo que aprendimos ayer. Did plus the subject plus the verb in the base form. Eso no ha cambiado. Lo único que cambia es esto. How long, how often, where, why, who, what, how much meat. This is put at the beginning to make it an information question. Yes or no, we're going to be making information questions by putting the question word at the beginning. So, al principio. 
que sí, entonces podemos responder más que solo un sí o no. Do we understand? Is this clear? Okay, y en el caso de, del verbo to be, puede tener después del WH cualquier otra palabra que se refiera eh, antes de was. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, how long was your trip? How long was your trip? So, ¿cuánto tiempo duró tu? O oh, cuánto tiempo, uh, cuánto tiempo duró, cuánto tiempo fue tu viaje? Okay. Okay. So here we use was. Okay. And we're using not just how, not just how, but how long? Cuanto tiempo. Okay. Any other questions? Y aquí no vamos a, no vamos a decir, eh, ya, no vamos a tener um, short answers. Las respuestas cortas no, no valen acá, porque precisamente lo que queremos es information. La única respuesta corta sería, what is your name? Jessica. Será una respuesta corta, pero no respuesta corta de yes, yes, I was, no, she wasn't, yes, it, it did, no, it didn't, etc., etc. Ok. In the word, in the word, delicious, word that they, delicious. Yes, yes, no question. Delicious. Delicious, delicious. Ah, over here. Number two. Ah, over here. Yes. Were they delicious? ¿Por qué? Porque esta sí es una pregunta yes or no. This is a yes or no question. Were, were they delicious? ¿Estaban deliciosos? Sí, no estaban. No, no estaban. It's a yes or no question. Does that make sense? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing. Actually, 